Well, all right. Are we on? Hey, folks. Gregory Cockery here at the NAMM Show 2016. I'm here with Mark from Taylor. How the hell are you? Awesome. How are you doing, man? That jacket is awesome. Like that? I might say. All right. Thanks, man. Well played. We're here. It's kind of first thing in the morning. We're a little groggy, but I think sufficiently caffeinated to get through some of these new glorious models for at 16. Mark, what do we got? What are you holding there? Well, let's talk about a few bullet points here. Hit it. We've got 12 strings, and we've expanded across the, uh, all the body shapes in 12 strings this year, which is awesome. We'll kind of bookend it with a small-bodied version, a large version, which we can talk about. Excellent. Uh, also, 12th fret, some new offerings in the 12th fret department, which are guitars where we attach the neck of the 12th fret. Right. 300 series, Andy came up with a really cool wood combination of black wood and mahogany. It sounds incredible. So across the 300 series, a little revamping there. And our 500 series, similar to what we did on our 600, 800, 900 series over the last couple of years, complete revoicing across the body shapes. Everyone's rebraced to make each body shape really stand out. Excellent. Yeah. Sounds like a smorgasbord and of delicious new Good, offerings. Nice offerings. 12 strings are a, are a savage instrument. It's hard to keep these damn things in tune. So what is, what is going on with these things that make them unique from other offerings that are currently available? Well, I think most of us know Taylor guitars play really well. Right. And a lot of that is due to the neck design, the construction of the guitars. And I think what the, the goal for the 12 strings was to basically make a guitar that anybody can play. If you're a six string player, it's like you say, they're kind of savages, right? Yeah. The, the big 12 strings are, are intimidating right. at the very least. So when you get into a smaller body guitar that's maybe a little more, a little more safe if you're not playing a lot of 12 strings, well, our guitars stay in tune really well, obviously. They play really well. So Andy came up with this grand concert. It's a small body, thin, uh, 12th fret. 12th uh -huh. So I mean, this is a guitar you just curl up with, and it's got all the power and balance. Sounds good. Of a lot bigger 12 strings, but it's really approachable, and I think that was kind of the, the excitement here. It's a guitar you can sit on the couch with, you can, you know, uh, do some recordings with, play live with, it plays well with others. So. Plays well with right, others. So that's nice. We go to the other side of the coin on that is our 858. So we took the grand or the grand orchestra, which is our largest body shape, okay, and wanted to make the the powerhouse 12 string that stays in tune and plays well. So yes. it's got all that Taylor playability this is key. and staying in tune and playing is. well. Well, what's the joke? You know, you spend half your time tuning 12 strings and the other half your time playing them out of tune. Yes, that is not true with Taylor guitars. So when you have the 858. Now we've got this guitar where you can dominate the musical conversation in a great way, and it's just a canon of a guitar. It's uh, Indian rosewood and sitka, so Excellent. a very, very you know, popular combination of tone woods for us. So um, that's that's kind of a cool thing. And then across the line, any body shape we make, you get a 12 string on. So that's really Excellent. cool. Excellent. Yeah. So I, I'm always curious, you know, at NAMM show, everyone always gets you salivating about the new thing. Uh, and then you're like, well, when do they ship? And so I was like, ah, I gotta go see a guy about a thing. So what is, uh, <clears throat> what is kind of the forecast? All these new things you're showing us, are they gonna be immediately available or how does it work? Are they being staggered over the course of the year? I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta, I, uh, that I don't know, I really don't know. So yeah, Greg, I think everything's most likely gonna ship in Q1. Q1, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So that's, that's how we do it at Taylor. Excellent. So. So, you know, we also talked about the 12th frets where the guitar yeah. is attached. You know, it's basically kind of a throwback to a lot of guitars that were built prior to the 30s. Right. Now the modern construction guitars typically attach at the 14th fret. Right. But the 12th fret is just a much more intimate instrument. And by bringing the bridge lower into the lower bout of the guitar, get a little more warmth, a little more, um, a little more richness to the guitars. Okay, so, so it's got a tonal lovely. thing as well as a comfort thing. All of the above. And it's also kind of an expurgating tool for people that like to go shweedle, 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 that probably shouldn't shweedle, shweedle. That's right. Yeah. Right? So, you know, it's for everybody, really. And it's, Ex it's expurgator. It's a great word. I'm going to have to go look that up because right, I, I, I don't know, don't know what it is. Load. Some kind of editing situation. Yeah. So anyway. we get into the 300 series. That's a very popular series for us. We have the 314 that's been wildly successful for many, many years. This year, Andy paired it with a Blackwood, which is from Tasmania. Okay. And we did that with a mahogany top. It has a warmer, kind of warmer tone to it, a little bit more power to it. It's got a little more dynamic tonal spectrum. Came mm -hmm. up with that, right? I dig yeah, it. It is. It's just got a really cool flavor to it. It's new and it's fresh. and It's, a, it's kind of a, a modern meets vintage type of vibe to it. So yes. It's really special. 500 series. That's the, the thing that's really cool. We did a lot of love to the mahogany this year, which is okay. our 500 series. And what they did there, rebraced every body shape to be body shape specific in the bracing to really bring out the characteristics of that body shape. But the cool thing there is, have you heard of Lutz Spruce by chance? Uh, I have not. Okay, Lutz Spruce is a naturally occurring hybrid. 
What that means is there's Sitka, which is closer to the water where it's a little warmer. You get the Engelman or white spruce from the mountains a little drier. Somewhere in the middle, they actually have naturally in the wild made a hybrid of themselves. And so it's a wood that sounds a little more like Sitka, a little bit of sparkle of Engelman. But Andy Powers was saying it has some of the power and horsepower of Adirondack. So it's uh-huh. kind of special for us. A little bit wider. Uh, wider in color. And that's, of course, called the Wood Mutant Series. Yes, it is. It's which is a, a really, I think, catchy marketing But it's obtainable as well, which is awesome. That is. Excellent. So, so we feature that on our, well, we have a, it's called a 510. It's a dreadnought that we make with the LUT stop, but it's a short scale. It's a 24 7 8 scale length, V-carve, slotted peg head, kind of a fun guitar. Excellent. And then, uh, I think that's pretty much it across the, most of the new stuff that we're doing. So it seems like it's rather ambitious. Uh, assemblage of new offerings, which is good. Yeah. It's not just the same old, same old. That Andy Unlimited Powers is always up to something. <laughs> Andy Unlimited Powers. Now, that's first five. I've heard that. That's oh, good. Right. The 12-string stuff, I think it's interesting because most people don't look at that as like a big release. You don't think 12 strings, and I think this is an exciting thing for us because people are coming by and playing this. So I'm going to hand it to you. Just fill this thing. Uh, Hit yeah. according to the chant. It's just an amazing instrument. Anytime you can do that chord on a 12-string, Easily is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, really sound. Cool. I'll take it right now and there run for go. the hills. That's what I'm taking, yeah. So perfect. Excellent. Dude, so I really appreciate it. Well, that, a pleasure, That's Mark. Awesome, Thank you very man. much for giving us the guided tour so, uh, through the new offerings here at the Taylor Lair NAM. 2016. Bright and early, Mark. It is. We're doing pretty good, though. Starbucks. (laughs) Thanks a lot. Wildwood Guitars, adios. Peace. Nice work, dude. You too.